because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. Paul, you think a lot of yourself. You are misinformed and misunderstood. That's not true. I think a lot of that great Holy Ghost is in Because I know what I can do. That's very little. I know what he can do. That's anything he wants. That lady turned that wheelchair around. She's all twisted up. She got that wheelchair turned around. Started screaming and hollering on her way out. People were getting all upset. Religious devils started getting mad at me because they think I ought to do something. Problem is, why don't you go up here and get you some of it and shut up and leave me alone? Thank you so bad. You gotta, you got, you can judge me. You grab a hold of it. Butt out, leave me alone. You back off. You understand? You can't accept responsibility for your own life. Don't mess with mine. We want you kind of presence. We want a flowy, spooky message. It's not what I come with. I'm sorry. I come with Shaitan of presence, but I came with the truth back in it. Jesus. They wheeled that lady out. They were weeping because they were embarrassed by her attitude. I didn't blame them for it. She was just a hurt lady. And I don't blame her for being mad at me. And let me tell you something else. God don't either. Turns out she'd been in that wheelchair 40 years. You try it. See where your attitudes take you and what character you form. Jesus. I forgive her. That's what I got to say about <laughs> She told him, y'all, y'all humiliated me, brought me down here. That man touched me and nothing happened. But you got to you gotta give time. No, and I'm not giving time. I've given time already. She's very angry. Whether well, she had right to be or not, it's between her and Jesus, I reckon. I won't say. I'm not going to throw a Bible verse at her and hurt her some more. I just won't. If I can't take her by the hand and pull her out of that chair, I ain't going to push her down further in. She I I'll leave that to you. And so she was very angry all the way back down. It took them 40 minutes to get her home. And the next day they tried and tried to get her to come. No way, no way, no way. At the last minute, she's conceded. She said, but I'll tell you what, I better get healed. They brought her down, and this time she was sitting over here. She was mad. She had her arms folded. She was looking at me. She was gritting her teeth at me. And I was just smiling at her. I've been down this road before. Pain and suffering and hate will always bow to the blood and mercy and the love of the gospel. Shiatakani. <laughs> Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. <laughs> All righty, Jesus can touch y'all. I can feel it. I got fire on. <laughs> I'm on fire. I double dog dare you to get up there and, and when I ask you, not right now. Wait, wait. Oh no! You just lay there and wait. I personally appreciate aggression. Could you see why? Because I, every fiber in me has it in it. Jesus. Jesus. I got through preaching. I went right down there and I touched that lady. She's huffing and blowing on me. 
qui meurt. Jesus. And I read back and smiled at her. Took my handkerchief and covered her head up with it. <laughs> she took my handkerchief and threw it on the ground. Ooh. You would take it and cut it up in pieces and sell it for thousand dollars a piece. You believe marketing is the way to run the church. I believe you got devils. What about that? See if you can market cancer out of your church. <laughs> oh, I got y'all. Y'all are such easy targets. <laughs> Woo! Jesus. Who do I think I am? Somebody you need to watch out for. Because the Holy Ghost will reveal to me you thinking that I come right back there and smack you upside the head. That's what. And I'll tell you right now, the Holy Ghost will back me. Jesus. What's the matter with you, man? What's the matter with me is your kind of presence. What's the matter with me is I get to travel all over the world and I get to see this great Holy Ghost Make every principality and power bow to it. That's what's the matter with me. I get to go in countries and watch gold fall out the sky on people. And silver cover people up. I get to, I, that's what's wrong with me. I get to watch people running out of wheelchairs just now. Well, I'm, I'm just now coming from Australia. And they told me, they did a survey last time I was over there in their churches. I had no idea. Fourteen people got up out of wheelchairs while I was there last time of every kind of disease that would put you in a wheelchair. Isn't that something? I had no idea. I only knew about six of them. But I'm sitting with this lady, and she's very angry. She's very frustrated now. Every now and then there's a curse word even coming out of her mouth. She's People are going, just holding their mouths. I know what they're thinking. No wonder she's in that chair. You're the one that walk around on that Jericho Road when that person's laying there wounded in Maine, too. Because if they'd have had faith like you, they wouldn't have fallen to them robbers now, would they? And that's all. Why are you beating us up? So God can heal you, that's why. Because He's gonna. God's gonna strip you and fill you with power. Because He loves you. Holy Ghost. <laughs> that lady was trying to go. They come and got her and took her. They were so embarrassed again the second night. She was screaming and they turned up Lindell Cooley on the thing. The louder she screamed, the louder they turned Lindale up on the CD player in the car. To finally, she couldn't out scream old Lindale. And so they had to, she had to shut up over there, just huff. <laughs> She's all twisted up sitting over there huffing. <laughs> and all of a sudden, about halfway back to the house, she started screaming in pain. And they cut Lindale off. What's the matter? My feet. My feet are on fire. She said, I've never had a sensation before. I don't know what it feels like to feel my feet. Forty years. I've suffered with several palsy. <laughs> <laughs>